we have been in uh, academic field for almost now, for me it is about 33 years, uh, with uh, students, uh, teachers, uh, uh, lecturers, professors uh, at different levels. Every year this day is uh, celebrated uh, and uh, we all enjoy, you know, all our contributions we make for the student uh, and uh, ultimately the contribution we make for the nation. So my main uh, concern has always been that we teachers uh, do prepare all the professions. That's what everybody says. But sometimes uh, I feel the teachers need a preparation for themselves too. Because if we start preparing others, then may our responsibility will be more. I remember a famous uh, you know, quote from Sarvepalli Radha Krishnanji. Uh, when he became the Vice President of India, then one uh, villager from Andhra Pradesh, uh, who happens to be from his village, has visited him. And uh, surprisingly, he was uh, allowed to meet the Vice President. And uh, when that person uh, came inside the drawing room, so Vice President uh, offered him the sofa to sit. Uh, but that gentleman said, nay, nay, you are a learned scholar and I cannot sit in front of you. So he sat on the carpet in the floor. Then the great uh, teacher, in fact, uh, the great mentor of this nation's teachers, uh, who said, uh, you are the first person who recognized me as a scholar. Has you deserve a seat on sofa and I deserve a seat on a carpet. That humbleness of that great teacher has always been echoing in my mind. So I just coined a poem last year, a poem for all of us, that we should not be known by our name. We should not be anywhere recognized, in fact, by what we are as teachers. But we should be known in a different way and a different combination. And that combination is a teacher's very existence is with the student. The day student is not in front of us, the existence of teacher is not there. Hence what I thought is, let me uh, read for you one poem which I prepared la last year. Somehow I was sitting last year, uh, Teacher's Day pro is coming so much, greet everybody. Then I wrote down, this poem is in Hindi. So let me quote. Shishya mere sabse gunwan bane. Shishya mere sabse gunwan bane. उनके ज्ञान का सब गुणगान करे शिष्य मेरे सबसे गुणवान बने उनके ज्ञान का सब गुणगान करे मेरे शिष्यों का सारे संसार में नाम रहे मेरे शिष्यों का सारे संसार में नाम ख्याति उनकी देखकर ख्याति उनकी देखकर हर कोई पूछे ख्याति उनकी देखकर हर कोई पूछे तू शिष्य है किस गुरु का ख्याति उनकी देखकर हर कोई पूछे तू शिष्य है किस गुरु का आओ चले उस गुरु के पास आओ चले उस गुरु के पास मिलकर सब उनका भरी सभा में सम्मान करें मिलकर भरी सभा में हम सब उनका सम्मान करें सो द होल आइडिया इज यू शुड बी नोन नॉट बाय योर पर्सनालिटी इफ समबडी सेज दैट हु इज सुंदर पिक्चर यार who made him like that? Why he is so talented? Then Sundar Pichai should have the humbleness to say that it is because of my teachers. And that kind of, you know, insertion, I will say, the, I will use the word, the insertion in the minds of everyone, we should employ. Because we will be very much alone if the student community is not there. Who we are going to teach? We are going to teach only students. And I will also say, I will go to the extent of saying that you should never love personally your student at all. I see many teachers, they tell that this is my pet student. How can there will be a pet student for a teacher? I, I do not believe in this concept at all. The teacher should only love the subject he teaches. For him, his, his classroom is a temple. 
and the student has come here to listen what he has learnt. He is not authority. He is an instrument to pass the acquired knowledge to all the students. But I, I hear whenever I go to teacher's training program and wherever for last uh, uh, 25 years I have been traveling nook and corner pan India and uh, what I found is they say it is me who taught me I I me you yeah I make a checker when it comes uh, it speaks of a inbuilt ego that look I am I'm a great teacher how can teacher be great when he himself recognizes himself teacher should not be recognized that is why I again repeat मेरे शिष्यों का सारे संसार में नाम रहे ख्याति उनकी देखकर हर कोई पूछे ख्याति उनकी देखकर हर कोई पूछे सीइंग दी यू नो नेम एंड फेम ऑफ सुदर पिचाया और एनी अदर ग्रेट स्कॉलर और ए ग्रेट टेक्निकल एक्सपर्ट और एनी वन ए साइंटिस्ट दे शुड बी आस्ड है अरे हु हैज टॉट यू किसने तुम्हें सिखाया हु इज योर टीचर that will give us the best reward see if a teacher gets tempted by the claps around him then he is no more teaching what what is that claps have to do for us i am already honored by my students as they grow in their life and contribute in this country including you you may not be my student but you are a student of some teacher but what else honor i expect from anyone else you know why See, I have never been taking any awards. If anybody says that you are being going to be awarded, then I don't come there. But yes, I had a teacher's training program and the concluding, you all put the shalwa and you know, you give a memento. That is okay. Up to that extent, it's okay. But telling that, you know, you are the greatest teacher and you know, you did so many things. Any teacher who is tempted for this particular action of his life, he will be tempted only to form an egoistic circumference around him and get into a trap. That trap will stop his growth as well as the students' growth who are in front of him learning. When we grow, I learned from Usha ji a great thing. See, Usha ji is very humble, very practical. She will always keep on appreciating everybody around her. It may be student, it may be her colleague, or it may be teachers, or or it may be seniors, or anyone else. You know, this is a thing which we all. Teachers should learn to appreciate people in our life. We should be seen as the one who appreciates. Even somebody is 80%, somebody is 90%, somebody is 70%, our job is not to put a scale and measure them. That is not our assignment at all. Our assignment is if in the scale they are shown, that they are below the benchmark, that means the teacher is not good. I am very clear here with with a, you know a apology to all of you that I will only say the teacher is not good that's why student is not performing student may be very naughty Her parents may be telling that he is very naughty at home I don't know what you teach him but surprisingly you find him a sundar pichaya that great guys who are uh, today oh, CEOs of Google and uh, Microsoft and various other top companies in the world these are the guys they are built by the teacher. See, if somebody says that, you know, the family is very important. Yes, family is important. But how much time teacher and students uh, spend and how much time family spends with them? Nowadays, with the woman working, hardly woman spends much time. She is always busy admonishing her children. You didn't do that. You didn't do that. When I was in office, I got a call from your teacher. Always I have to attend to the parents meeting. What is that you are doing? This kind of thing you hear from parents. There are no, no understanding between really pay. parents always wants delivery of result. And we teacher also got tempted because parents want a result. We also should only concentrate on benchmark that ye 99 ka hai hai ki nahi, ye 100 ka nahi hai ki nahi. Isse kya hota hai? The most talented people, I am very clear about it. You can ask the student, various other people who are sitting in the top place. They would have never been 100% best in the school or college. They would have been above average, agreed. But they are excellent in absorbing because their teachers were so good. 
they were delivering such things to them that while playing, while talking, anything, they were not missing their teacher in their life. A teacher's day hai. No. Teacher's ka day nahi hota hai. How can there be a day for a teacher? It's all right. We choose this day for celebrating teacher's you know, performance. I will call it performance celebration day for teachers. It will not be a teacher's day. Bina teacher ke to gyan nahi. Guru bina gyan ka hai. Guru majhe istiti to vishwam. Vishwam majhe istiti to guru hu. Guru ur vishwam nacho vano isti. Tasmai sri guru en nama. In every subject the guru exists. Where guru is not there. Where the teacher is not there. Little bit understanding is required. The life teachers, they teach the subjects also, which the schools or a college or a you know, university wants. At the same time, they teach the life also. If you are not taught your student what is pain in life, how to handle the pain, then I found a lot of my teachers telling me, you know, sir, you don't know my problem, I am suffering a lot. She is not suffering because of teaching a student. She is suffering in her personal life. He is suffering in his personal life. When they suffer in personal life, the reflection is seen in the classroom. How do you correct this? That is why a teaching is man management. You have to build a personality. You do not have to only dump all that you have in the books. That is why Swami Vivekananda was very clear that you, you go on, you know, reading without learning samskara, without learning how to handle your life, you, you are not an educated person. You are just illiterate. That's why Kapil Das said, Poti padi padi jagamwa pandit bhayana koi dhai akshara prema ka pade so pandit hoi. So this kind of excellency in those great teachers, Kapil Das is a life teacher. You cannot ignore him at all in your life. You cannot ignore Tulsi Das. You cannot ignore uh, what you call uh, uh, Wordsworth. You cannot uh, ignore that great uh, Robert Frost. Rabindranath Tagore. Rabindranath Tagore is the greatest poem which I talked about is you teach the student you to be alone. How to handle his akla chalore. Jodi koi tumake na daake. If nobody calls you. If nobody is calling you from behind and you are still walking on, you be sure that you are walking on the right path. Why? Because you have acquired that kind of confidence from your teachers. T telling Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo, Maheshwara, I do, a, I do listen to it, but uh, I feel that it is meant for only God. Not for teachers. Because we are, we are, we are not structured our lifestyle as teachers. We have to structure our life as a teacher. We have to live like a teacher and die like a teacher. For us, nothing is greater than our student. Our classroom is our temple. We are not administrators. We are managers of human personality. We are somebody who is great and special. We are the descendants of the great rishis of this country. Our rishis have never recognized themselves with anything other than their subject which they have taught to the world. If you want to know Vasishta, you know Vasishta Gita. If you want to know what is Lord Krishna, you have to go to Bhagavad Gita. Anyone, any one of our rishis you want to know, our teachers you want to know, you have to only go through the teachings they have given to the world. So my dear teachers, today is a great day. And you please imbibe in yourself. Everything that matters to the world. Don't, don't only imbibe physics in you, not chemistry in you, not grammar of English in you, not mathematics in you. Along with that, in fact, you should imbibe in yourself great amount of love for the people. Because people are the one whom you are building up. Hence when I say don't love the student means, I am very clear here, if you love the subject, what you teach, you love the work which you do, you dedicate it to the, uh, you know, whole nation, whole community, to the God, then I can tell you one thing, you will be the supermost teacher. Never compete with your students. Students will be always best. Some student will question your mistake also. Enjoy that.
and immediately congratulate him and tell him that's the time when you have to really clap for him. Because he's a smart guy. He's your student. There is a question of, you know, personal prestige involved in this. Nothing is involved. We are like flowing water. Anybody can quench their thirst. Knowledge is gyan ka sagar hai. Isse toh hum apne dimaag mein rakh sakte hai. Lekin hum isko bata sakte hai. Lekin chupa nahi sakte hai. Isko store nahi kar sakte hai. You have to distribute it. The more you distribute your knowledge which you are storing inside you, that is the knowledge base of the world you create. Why India is such a strong country? Why despite so much criticism internally, externally, everywhere, we, we do not get in trap? We are never trapped. Why we are not trapped? Because by nature we are teachers. Our community itself loves it and only in one thing, that yaar, thika yaar, that's his opinion. Let's not get too much disturbed by that. So your personality in your personal life should not come into classroom. In classroom, whatever personality you create, please take it home, everybody will be happy. So it is not a teacher's day, it is a celebration of day. You are teachers. Love your profession more than anything else. Thank you very much for patiently listening to me on this auspicious day of Sir Dr. Sarve Palli Radha Krishna's birthday, this teacher's day. Love you all. You are all been associated with us on some form or the other. We will continue our association. So at the end, I conclude with a Shant Sloka. Purna Madam, Purna Midam, Purnata, Purna Mudachate, Purnasya Purna Madaya, Purna Meva Vashishate. It is the wholesome thing that we are all looking for. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Thank you very much.